All right, folks, we're back. Yeah, we made it. Yes. It's a new day. Yes. So, so now we continue the adventures of a walking tumor. So we have two options. We can go down into the basement, or we could go get a cupcake. Oh, yeah, that's where we left off. I want the cupcake. Yeah, I don't think the cupcake, or rather the getting of, is going to stop us from going down in the hole. That's... We can always come back, right? That yeah, it's true. <clears throat> so we shall go acquire cupcakes. Oh yeah, I have to click map. And the uh, lady was at hallway. The... Yeah, she's right there. Yes. Now I can finally, at long last, get my cupcake. Uh, ah, packs to membership. Yeah. Cupcakes. I shall talk to them first. Are you should... okay. Fine. Use. I shall use you to up my calorie intake to <laughs> sickening levels. Talk. I would like to purchase a cupcake. Okay, let's see if this actually works. Do you have cash, membership, or a coupon? Yes, actually, uh, this pig's membership card. Yes, believe in the coupon. Take your pick. My favorite is alkaline flavor. I see. Cthulhu flavored. I right, that sounds good. Chronic illness flavored. Uh -huh. All right, what's the center? Yep, figured. <laughs> I feel like the obvious choice. I kind of want Cthulhu flavored. I'll take this one. Excellent choice, sir. All right. See you. I'll peruse your cupcake selection later. This isn't a cupcake library. Make sure to bring a coupon or cash. We just did. Hmm. I'm not sure why I need this. Maybe I can summon Cthulhu. Who knows? Alright, now what do we actually have to do? It's an item! Use. Not that keen on eating the great old ones right now. Hmm. You. Okay. Oh, I, All think right. I think we're done with her, so now. Um, the pit. Yes. Yeah, I guess we just go right to the pit. I don't think there's From anything the else in the area. I have to walk on screen. There I am. Oop. Basement entrance. Hmm. <laughs> There's mutant mole people convention. God damn, geometry gate is always blocking their entrances. <laughs> Most people think they are from Crusher's radiation problem. But it's just a gross misuse of selected breathing. It's not a <laughs> Ah! Vault 627. And a vampire. So we just gotta hit him a few times. I guess we just keep trying. Come on. There he goes. There we go, okay. That skull is pretty cool. I like mutant mole people con. Welcome to the live art installation of the... Forgotten Prodigy Children. I hate this place. Free wine and nibblies over there. Ooh. Ooh. Wine and nibblies. Sure, yeah. I'm sure I want to eat dungeon food. <laughs> Let's look at it first. I have. Look at... Ah, yes. Free wine and nibblies. The only reason people come to art institutions. <laughs> <laughs> the fish dude in the bottom right. Let's take the only thing that might actually tempt someone to come to this art exhibition. And that would be immoral, but delicious. Yeah, like immoral has ever stopped you, Paradigm. <laughs> fish dude. Oh, I see. I can't talk to him from where I was. Hello, fishman. Are you more of a man or a fish? Maybe you go by man fish instead. Maybe boy fish. Ladyfish? Fishfish? Man men? I give up. <laughs> Nutritious soil. What's... Why can Nutritious I... Nutritious soil, trademark. The only way to grow things in Krush. Unless you want monstrosities. <laughs> My dog. My dog? Oh yeah! I forgot about dog. I want it. I will murder you if you try to wreck my performance piece. Oh jeez. All right. Uh, I think I know how we can get it though. Pretty sure that guy over there winked at me. 
Which one, the fish? Is this too much to ask? Rubble. I I kind of want to. I read once that piles of rubble in your living space increases happiness by twenty percent. <coughs> or was it the best as wet cancers? Now I get the two mixed up all the time. I prefer. All right, let's talk. Let's look at keyboard, dude. I've heard of this guy before. Magic melancholy. He is target demographic is heartbroken wizards. Ah, yes, yeah, an important demographic. Well. Hmm. Mostly because wizards are known for digital piracy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's right. Okay, look. I, uh. Can't you see you're interrupting my visionary performance? Do it again and I'll <laughs> continue to scream! Wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, I think there is a guy in there. Can I talk to the hole? Yes, you can. He got an achievement for it too. I'm the man in the wall. <laughs> what are you doing in the wall? The job market is pretty unstable at the moment. Turns out you can live quite frugally on the inside of a wall. I mean, I guess. Fair enough. What do you do all day? Mostly I tell people I'm the man in the wall. <laughs> when that starts to run dry, I've got this mobile phone which has snake on it. Even Tetris. Oh, wow. I've got the high school. Mostly because I'm the only man in the wall. But high school! <laughs> I like your lighting choice. Thanks! I try my best to capture the insane man in the wall. <laughs> Winter's do the mall. So far, he's the nicest man we've met so in this far. subterranean hellhole. Well, let's see what Hammerman uh, does. I believe this is a piece commenting on how construction workers are slowly morphing into their tools. Because of a curse which is cast when they were kicked out of the union. <laughs> they have to take away with five weeks paid vacation. You That's talk to him, or is he gonna ignore you? Need on the wall. Hmm. Yes, you are correct. I've always thought I could be a fashion model. I just didn't have the height. A forerunner in tumor fashion. <laughs> okay. Society so. is okay. Yes. Yes. It's all right, huh? Except for that uh, weird mutation in Luxembourg where they managed to transcend human evolution. <laughs> basically becoming demigods and threatening our entire existence. Well, that'd that be pretty someone. Good. Pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good. Huh. Man, that skull likes to live dangerously, on the edge. I totally want to party with that skull. No partying with the skull! Yeah, I figure if we, like, pull the screw out, the skull's gonna fall and clock her in the head, and then we can take the soil. Can I pick up screw? No. Ah, oh, I see. And we don't have a screwdriver. We unfortunately picked the wrong cupcake. Well, you actually have a dialogue tree. Oh, of course she has a mono brow. Oh, no. Yeah, to some regular art pleb like you. Come on, look at the mood lighting. Don't lie to me. That's definitely dank <coughs> dungeon lighting. Uh, all right, all right. It's an art exhibition which happens to be in a dungeon prison where Dupa Genetics keeps all its faulty prodigy children. Just between you and me, I think some very rich art collectors are coming down here soon. People are starting to realize the appeal of dungeon prisoner art. I doubt that. <laughs> What did you do before you decided to take up uh, performance art? I was a prodigy at pen spinning. You know, that one kid who was always good at spinning the pen on his hand. Yeah, I know, pretty lame. The guy who ordered me was super mad that his university friend could do it, but he couldn't. So he commissioned me. Now I can't even look at wow. pens without getting PTSD. I'm a prodigy child too, you know. An electronic music prodigy, that is. Aiming to become the greatest in the world. Really? For commercial or deep and meaningful artistic reasons? Do you have rationale? 
Do you pleasure yourself over the sheer level of artistic intelligence that emanates from your head? I know I do. I just, uh, like the way some beeps and boops sound, I guess. Also, I would not be opposed to fat sticks. You truly are a disgusting human being paradigm. <laughs> Art is for the soul and for stroking the ego. <laughs> you are not an artist. Now I see why you peeps are in a dungeon. <laughs> they deserve to be there. Yeah. I give you a critique? No, you're wrong. Gotta make them fat <laughs> steps. Wrong! <laughs> Can I ask you something else? Sure. Preferably about me and my art, though. What is the meaning behind your performance art? I wish to understand the, the apple. <laughs> It's too smart for anyone to guess, especially a pleb like you. So, couldn't work it out. As much as this is a joke, I've met people First, like this. I know it's context? it's this. Well, this is. All right, so me with this apple on my head. You took media the arts and uh, up in yeah, and, and, you're probably good in university. Sit through the whole thing. Oh fuck, a skull right. above my head represents death looming above us. Party hat Which makes me mad. Sometimes <laughs> Why did we start this game up again? Because <laughs> it's However, good. There are a bunch it's of really good. Meanings. I mean, that was just the synopsis. Basically, if you look a little bit more closely, there is some dirt here. This actually represents how dirty we are. When I say we, I mean modern society, i.e. you, with its dirty and hypocritical morals. Damn, I'm on another plane of thinking. <laughs> and that was the shortened summary. Uh, wait, what? Were you even listening? Uh, y yes. <laughs> Who is your favorite Who is artist? Your favorite artist? <clears throat> Christoph Kandowski. Why? The few people who have seen it still don't understand his art. <sighs> he makes me so. If I'm not mistaken, he's actually the artist for this game. <laughs> have you considered he We'd have to double check later. Mentally insane. And that's why his art is incomprehensible. Don't make me get my exacto blade out. I'll carve my initials on you and claim you as a The eyebrows are bothering me. And not her artist. unibrows, the Apple's well, eyebrows. Yeah, it's a little artist. uncomfortable. I don't like it. Gluttony. I don't like art students. No. No one does. True art. True art is. What? I'm sorry. Us true artists have ascended to another method of communication, one that a peasant like you wouldn't understand. Okay, uh, see ya. Enjoy your thing. Bye, pleb. Gosh. So mad. I'm gonna go get that screwdriver so we can murder her. <laughs>